The truth about exosomes. Hi, I'm Josh with Dream Body Clinic, and we're going to talk today a bit about exosomes and mesenchymal stem cells. So mesenchymal stem cells work by sending out exosomes. That is like the delivery device that they use to guide the repair and healing process. So when you administer mesenchymal stem cells, you can put them like in an IV or you can go directly to a joint. But once they're in the body, they don't turn into a different type of cell. So they're not really a stem cell in your body. In fact, Dr. Arnold Kaplan, the man that named them, wishes he had actually named them medicinal signaling cells. Because in the lab, you can turn them into different cell types. Uh, there's about five or six different types, but when you put them in the body, they don't differentiate. They work via what's called the paracrine effect, sending out these signals. And those delivery systems are the exosomes. Think of them as like a single payload delivery device. So if you have a cell or an immune cell that needs to be communicated with, they will send an exosome that is carrying a cytokine. And that specialized cytokine will help reprogram the immune system or send a message that needs to be sent. Another exosome might send a chemokine, which is a chemical signal that can tell a different type of cell where to go and what to do. And then another exosome could be sending a growth factor. Maybe they need some more VEGF at the area to help with neovascularization, which would be new blood vessel formation. Or maybe another one out there needs a neurotrophic factor. So they'll send out an exosome that will carry a neurotrophic factor that will guide neurons to regenerate nerves. So exosomes are awesome, but they are part of that system. There are groups that are doing just exosomes and that's great, but it's, you're not getting the full benefit. You really need the mesenchymal stem cell there to go to the area and send out the correct exosome. Because the way that they do this, and it was a brilliant workaround. So in the United States, you were not allowed to administer cultured mesenchymal stem cells, meaning replicated stem cells. You can take them from like fat or bone marrow, put them in a centrifuge with collagenase and separate the cells into that liquid and administer that. But what they won't tell you is less than 1% of that liquid is mesenchymal stem cells. So it's not really a stem cell therapy, it's a cell therapy. The other option is they can take an umbilical cord like the uh, Wharton jelly like we do, and they can centrifuge it. And they can then get about 70% stem cells, but 30% other types of cells. So it is a stem cell therapy, but it's not pure. But either way, those will get in there and start sending out their exosomes. Now, the workaround was a group called Chimera Labs. Very smart. They decided, hey, let's culture those stem cells. And then instead of administering them because that's illegal, let's force them to release their exosomes. So they do that. They, they force them to release the exosomes and then they filter out the mesenchymal stem cells so they're left with pure exosomes. This doesn't break that rule in the United States so they can be used. The problem is there's over a thousand different types of exosomes. And we're just now getting to the point where we can even distinguish one from another because they're all different sizes. They all have a different payload. And this is a very specialized, specific system that the body is designed to use the mesenchymal stem cell to release the correct exosome. So we're hoping that in the future, we can narrow down which exosomes do certain functions and we can isolate just those and administer them. You can do this by checking the CD markers, which are the surface phenotypes of these different exosomes. And we're getting to where we can distinguish them better, but we're still not at that point where these are isolated treatments, where we can't say, hey, these four exosomes will fix cartilage, or these five will fix a ligament. We're not there. We're still in the guessing phase and the experimental phase. And because of that, um, Dr. Arnold Kaplan, again, would always kind of argue and talk at conferences that he, he goes, man, if only there was a perfect delivery system for exosomes. He goes, oh, there is <laughs> a mesenchymal stem cell. So in our opinion, at this point, we're still better off putting in more mesenchymal stem cells to the area because they will send out far more exosomes than you would get in an exosome treatment. Because in the exosome treatments, you sounds like you're getting a ton. They're like, hey, do this 80 billion exosome treatment. We're like, oh, 80 billion. Well, that's way more than say the 50 million Dream Body Clinic was gonna put stem cells in my knee. But what they're not telling you is that 50 million mesenchymal stem cells is gonna send out probably like hundreds of billions or trillions 
of exosomes and not just all at once. They're going to do that over the course of eight months to a year and they're gonna be highly targeted to make sure they're guiding that process properly. So exosomes are amazing. We're all for exosomes, but at this point, we are not using them and have no plans to use them in the near future because of these limitations. Now look, if you are looking into exosomes and you for whatever reason can't travel abroad, I would say the only lab I think is doing it right would be Chimera Labs. They were the originators at K-Y-M-E-R-A Labs. But even then, you're limited. So that's my take on it. Look, everyone has an opinion. This is just my opinion from talking with countless biologists and doctors about this. You know, do your own research, see what conclusions you come to. It's an amazing field of study and it's constantly changing. And I do hope we can get more specialized because I do think eventually we'll find that, hey, if we use MSCs with certain exosomes, we might see better outcomes. We might see better results. But at this point, I don't feel like we're there yet. Most labs that say they're doing exosomes, at least here in Mexico, I can speak for, like don't even have the proper equipment to do it. None of them that I know of are actually administering real exosomes. So you gotta be careful with that too. So, you know, look for mesenchymal stem cells to heal things. If you wanna add exosomes, again, look at like Chimera Labs in the United States. And in the future, if we're able to do that, we will, but at this point, it's just not dialed in to where we think it should be. And we wanna make sure we give you the best treatment at the best price. And to do exosomes properly is not cheap. And that's why you have to be careful with some of these labs that are out there claiming that they're doing it because it's very expensive equipment and the margins, because they're competing with places like Chimera, just aren't there. You have to be large enough for that to make sense. And if it was giving better results, it'd be worth that investment. In our opinion, it's not there yet. In fact, the only lab I know that had the capability to do it here in Mexico actually reverted all of their like exosome production to natural killer cells for treating cancer because it was a better use of their equipment. So just be careful out there. Make sure you get good info, do your own research. That's our take on exosomes. There's lots of people that have had success with exosomes, but I like to compare it this way. I say, look, let's say you're going out hunting a deer. Hunting it with exosomes would be like taking a shotgun. You might hit it, you might even take it down, but you'd be much better to use a rifle with a scope. And that's what mesenchymal stem cells do. They're highly targeted, precise. You will get what you're looking for if done right. And that's what we do here at Dream Body Clinic. So if you'd like to learn more, Get a hold of us. You can call anytime. You can talk with me um, toll free at 888 704 3977. Or you can check out our website at www.dreambody.clinic. Scroll down on the homepage, you'll see all the treatments listed. You can click, they have information, prices, studies linked to them. All of it's there. So get a hold of us. I'm Josh. Happy to help.